Hello everyone, um, I'm Michael. This is going to be a video just about my quilts and quilt tops and quilt kits, some of them, and some finished quilts that I have. Um, I had mentioned that I would do this if people wanted to see them, and I had some people that said they did in the comments of my first floss tube. So this is just gonna be quilts, no cross stitch. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, my first quilt that I ever made um, is this quilt. Um, I couldn't find the pattern for it, but it was like on a little posted stamp. Um, postcard type pattern. And it's the Dr. Seuss fabric. I had made it for my husband because he's an elementary school teacher. Um, and I mean, Dr. Seuss books are great at that age. Um, we used to buy them for our kids all the time, but they're kind of out of that age now. So it's just a lot of different Dr. Seuss fabrics and then like this reddish orange color speckle and then the back is the green speckle and it's not all that big it's like a throw size um, I had originally made it so he could take it to his classroom and he never did he just keeps it here at home and uses it so that was the first quilt I ever made the next quilt is a quilt that I made for my daughter for Christmas year before last. And it's called Beads. Just at four. I write on everything. Um, and this is a free pattern off of Jordan Fabrics website. Um, she made it on her YouTube and it's free. So I made this one and I might as well stand up because they're so big. Um, this is a full size. Let's see if I can. And it's all pinks and blacks and like pink bandana. And I made this with my old sewing machine. So I actually did like zigzag quilting on it. And then my mother had found this fabric um, on clearance somewhere. And I used the Lori Holt Spelling Bee book and put my daughter's name on the back of it. So this is hers. It has cat hair all over it because the cat loves being in her room. Um, the next one is a Christmas quilt. I couldn't find the pattern for this one either. But it's another freebie off of Jordan Fabrics website. Um, and it has like the big star in the middle. This fabric I got from Hobby Lobby. Because um, I like the cheetah print in it. And then the red color. I just got this at Walmart. And this one at Walmart. And made this one. And then the back is another flannel fabric that I got at Hobby Lobby. And this one we put out at Christmas time on the back of the couch. So I had to pull it off of the rack today. The next one is one I did for my oldest son. And I cannot say that those Rodis, um, I don't know. My daughter knows Spanish. She could have probably helped me with that. But this is the pattern and it's the Bella Solids um, free pattern. So I got this off of Jordan Fabrics again. And this one I did with all superhero fabric or like Marvel's fabric. And it's upside down, isn't it? 
Well, that's the right way up because his name is on the back. But it's just all the superheroes like Spider Man and what is that, Captain America and Hulk and stuff? I don't know. And I don't know who's the one with the big long claws. Isn't that like Wolverine or somebody? Um, and then again on the back of this one, I put his name on the back. And this was his Christmas quilt the same year I made my daughters. The next one that I did was Stars and Four Patches. It's a Bella Solids free pattern also from Jordan Fabrics. And this one is for my youngest and he is addicted to Mario. So it's all Mario and Luigi. And I think I got all of these from Walmart. Um, they sell them, I think by the yard, in like the little pre-cut yardage. So this is his, and it has Mario and Luigi, and like the little flower power thing on the back. And then it has his name on it also. Again, from the Spelling Bee book from Lori Holt. So, these are on their bed year-round. They just keep them and fold them up. The last one I made is Peaks. Um, this is the last one I made for Christmas right here. Again, Bella Solids. And this was also a free pattern um, on Jordan Fabric's website. And my middle son, he loves buses and Tonka trucks and all that. So, <clears throat> to me, this kind of looked like traffic cones, sort of. So, it has all the Tonka trucks. And then I just pulled colors from this fabric to do these. And then this is supposed to look like the dirt on a construction site. So, this is his. I just did straight line quilting on this one. Um, these were like the next four quilts that I made after that one I made for my husband was my starter quilt. So, and then his name is on the back again. It says Cameron on the back. Again, off of the Spelling Bee book. Um, the next ones are just quilt tops at the moment. So, we'll try to get all of this together here. Um, sometimes I don't print the patterns off. Um, I just use my tablet and download it and then look at it from there. And then when I'm done, I delete it. So some of them I don't have the pattern for. And then some of them are just basic quilt patterns. This first one um, is like a Christmas throw blanket. This is just a Jelly Roll race quilt top. And it's not gonna be big, it's like a little throw size. Um, but I haven't quilted it or anything. I could do this one easy um, if I just do straight line. But it was on clearance after Christmas at Joanne's Fabrics, I believe. So I think I bought two of them and just sped through them and kept going. So that's that one. The next one is another freebie. Um, I can't remember the name of it because I can't find the pattern, like I said, some of them. Um, but it was a free one. I believe it's another Bell of Solids. And this is on Jordan Fabrics website again. And it's all flamingos and tropical 
fabrics. And a lot of these were done with my old sewing machine. So not all of it lines up all that great because I didn't know anything about the quarter inch foot and I thought that's what I had on it. And I didn't, I just had the regular foot. So some of them, the piecing is questionable, but I mean, the kids are just gonna use them and throw them all on the floor and everything. Now this next one, I was able to find the pattern. Um, and I believe that Flamingo fabric, I found it at one of the big box craft stores, either Joann's or Hobby Lobby, because I like flamingos. Um, the next one is Twinkle Little Star. I know this one, Jordan Fabrics made this one. Um, and it's supposed to be made with like a layer cake. And then you just get like an accent fabric for the pinwheel in it. Um, so this is this one. And this fabric, um, when I first started quilting, I was ordering fabric off of Amazon um, and found out that some of it is probably not the best material um so i had ordered a layer cake so this one is just all kinds of fabric because i just cut it up because i was like i'm not going to use it for anything else so i'll just make this little quilt and then the kids can use it in the living room while they watch movies so that's that one. The next one is an actual pattern. It's called Entwined by the Quilt Factory. Um, Jordan Fabrics made this one. I like watching Donna make quilts. So she actually made this one and this was near the end of my sewing machine living, the first one. So, again, some of the points are not great because I had the wrong foot. But this was made with um, a Moda Fabrics line. I can't remember which one. But it has, like, flowers and paisley prints and everything. So, that is how this one is. And I did the um, yellowish color background with the roses on the border. And it's quite big, I assume. It's gonna be like a big throw. So this one is 76 by 76. And those ones I made for my children, all three of my boys, the Mario, the Tonka truck one, and the superheroes are all twin size. And then the pink and black one, um, I added to the pattern to make it big enough for a full size bed. Cause that's what my daughter has. And then coriander quilts, um, patchy stars is the next one I did. And I don't think, yeah, this is Springbrook fabric collection, which I assume it's out of print because I didn't use this. I found a fabric from Walmart with hydrangeas on it because that's one of my favorite flowers. And then I did like a corally pink color for the stars. And so I just alternated the hydrangea print with different like ch check plaid fabrics and then a white background with the coral stars all in this one. And this one ends up being, let's see, 70 by 82. So, and then I added the hydrangea print at the border. So I like that one, that one turned out nice. Um, 
the first big quilt I made, but started and took me forever to finish, um, is from the Snapshots Quilt Along. This is the Let Them Eat Cake quilt block. And you're supposed to do like different blocks. But I just made the one block over and over. Again, ignore all of my writing. But this is the block. And you just make that block over and over. And this is free on the Fat Quarter Shop website. Let's see if I can get this the right way. And so I had bought this fabric off of Amazon. And so each cake is different fruit and I just did fabrics and then the leftovers I did the background fabric is Lori Holt and it's like little mason jars if you can see that and so I like that and then I put them in mason jars you use those in the kitchen and then cakes you make in the kitchen then I cut up all the remaining fabric and did a piece border all the way around and sashing, an inner border sashing, and then an outer border of the mason jars. And this one turned out actually pretty big. Um, I did four cakes by six cakes so it did end up being if it will work with me it did end up being pretty large um, probably not big enough for my bed but for a bed and then the next one is a free one off of jordan fabrics website and it is the curved log cabin and it's a sunday stroll i think something it's a moda fabrics collection i really should have kept better track of this back when i was making them but they're all just curved log cabins with the um, background single border all the way around and then the red and white flower border all the way around so that one's really pretty to me i like the colors and that's probably like a throw size um i do remember the fabric name for this one but i couldn't find the pattern, which is crazy because it's an actual pattern I've paid for. Um, I cannot remember the name of it, but the fabric is Midnight in the Garden. Um, and Jordan Fabrics did make this pattern, but she used a different fabric line. And this was a coordinating fabric um, but a solid that pulled the colors out of here and here and stuff. And it has like roses and bunnies and bees and apples all on this one. And this one was pretty easy to piece together because it's all just straight seams. that one and the last quilt top that I have that isn't quilted is just another jelly roll race um, this was a jelly roll that I found on Amazon I think it comes with like 120 strips and they're really it's not they're not bad fabrics some of them are thinner looking than others like you can 
kind of tell they're not that thick in some of them. But it's just all like florals. Um, and different stuff. It looks like a little bell or something. But that's this one. So that is all of my fully finished quilt tops. Um, I can show you a couple of them that I didn't show you last video of ones that I'm working on. The first one is the Vintage Kite foundation paper. I'm doing the six inch. Um, so I'm gonna have to have like four packs of these. But again, this was um, a layer cake kit um, that I had got off of Amazon. And I just mixed them all up, so it'll be scrappy. And I have a whole lot of them in this stage. Um, and the paper is on the back. I just have to finish making them. But this is how they look when you get them together. So it's just going to be a lot of these. And then I'm going to do a white background border and then a larger border around it when it gets to that point. And the trim it ruler, quarter inch ruler, I think, or add a quarter ruler, trim it ruler, that's a totally different thing. But it's the add a quarter ruler. This works really good when you're doing the paper piecing and you have to trim the back. Um, your back fabric and you put this on there and then you trim away the excess. So this one is coming along. I keep it in a in an old shoe box because it just sits next to my sewing machine and I work on it every now and then between piecing other stuff. The next one is Dresden. Um, these are a whole lot of them done. And I still have more to go. I'm making this um, big enough for my king size bed. And this is all one specific fat quarter bundle from Pioneer Woman. And so it's just all the same, but just rotate the colors in each one. Besides this one, it's also in the fat quarter bundle, but I'm putting those at every like north, south, east, west, I guess, type, if you want to look at it that way. So those are halfway done, but I do have some that are put together already. Um, so this will be how they look. And I just did like a light green color for the background because I wanted it to look kind of vintage. And a lot of antique quilts that you see from, what, the 30s or something, they have, like, that light green and pink in them. And so I chose the light green because I already had pink in here. So pink on pink, those probably wouldn't have showed up all that great. And green's my favorite color again. So it's a shade of green, so I can go with that, you know. The next one, I am using the 12-inch Skinny Pineapple Trim It Tool. This is so easy to use. It really is. Um, and I got this for Christmas one year because my husband feeds my addiction. Um, and I'm just doing um, two-color quilt because I like those. I think they're kind of neat. So these are some of the blocks that I have sewed together. I'm nearing done on this one. I didn't grab all of them, but I have like a whole basket full of these. I think I have like five more blocks to go and I have enough for a whole king size bed. And again, I'm going to do on the outside 
I'm going to do a one and a half inch um, either orange that matches this or white and then do orange and then white or orange, white, orange around it and then do um, a little nine patch in the corner that makes it look complete all the way around. But I've been working on this one for a while because I kind of don't want it to be done, to be honest, because it is fun. Once it gets done, I'm either going to start another one of these pineapple quilts because they are super fun. They do take up a lot of fabric, but if you're just buying yardage, I buy at Walmart, but don't come for me. I have a lot of other bills to pay for kids are making me broke um front porch swing by primitive gatherings is another quilt that i'm currently working on um i saw this on one of her videos a while back and i just had to have the quilt pattern for it because i think it's so pretty i'm not doing it in these colors mine is more patriotic colors um and this one does end up being 90 by 90. So, once I finish the quilt top, if I lay it on my bed and it's not quite big enough, I might add um, a small border around it to make it big enough. Because everybody else has a quilt but me. I don't have a quilt on my bed. It's not fair. So, oops, where'd you go? So, these are the quilt blocks um, for this one. And I'm just alternating the fabrics so none of them match up. And then I'm putting this red polka dot, which is not a Pioneer Woman fabric. It's just one at Walmart that coordinated. Um, I'm just putting that two in each column, but making sure that they don't touch the other column, if that makes sense. So, but the other fabrics in here, the florals are all Pioneer Woman. Um, and they were all red and white, and so is this one. Um, and then this is just a solid from Walmart. It's like a dark navy. So, I have quite a few of these done. I have quite a few more to go also. So, they're all... All the same, but different, because they're all moved around in different places. And I don't have any of these actually sewn together yet. I just have the blocks done. So besides the other two that I showed you in my last video, I feel like I have lint from blankets in my eye now. Um, besides the other two that I showed you, the hometown quilt along uh, by the way hole and the great granny square, that's the only two that I didn't bring in here because I showed you in the last video. And then um, I made my mother two quilts. Um, one quilt was a free pattern off of Jordan Fabrics and I made that and I tied it instead of quilting it. I just tied it with yarn. Um, and she has that one that was her birthday present two years ago. And then my aunt hand embroidered some um, quilt blocks and I just added sashing and made it into a quilt so she could give that to my mom for Christmas this year. So I finished that one also, but I don't have them with me because they're all the way two hours away. Um, and then I made one for my aunt also, and I put her name on the back. And the one that I tied for my mom, I put mama on the back because Lord knows I'm in the South. I'm not calling my mom by her name. I will get murdered. Um, now, next, these are just quilt kits, but they're only my Lori Holt quilt kits that I haven't done. Um, they live in, like, a little cabinet, and I hide them. Um, but I do have a whole nother cabinet full of quilt kits that are not Lori Holt. They're just fabric that I picked to go with a quilt pattern that I liked. Um, I didn't bring those in here. Because that is literally a whole bottom of a cabinet um, full of fabric and quilt patterns. 
But these are just the Lori Holt ones. Um, and so, this is the first one. It is the chicken salad quilt kit. I don't know if you can still get these. Um, I do not order these from Fat Quarter Shop. I order them from Moose Have Crafts. M-O-O-S-E-H-A-V-E-C-R-A-F-T-S dot com. Moose Have Crafts. It's, um, you can find them also on Facebook. She has a Facebook page. Um, and it comes with all of the fabric for the front of the quilt. And then, of course, you have to buy the So Simple Shapes separately and the backing. So it does come with everything that you need. And it's very organized in here. Um, and then you have, like, the background and the binding and everything. It's all in here. Um, I need to actually put the So Simple Shapes in here with it because I already bought them for this pattern. Um, I don't know if she has these though, but you can go to her website and she's wonderful. Um, not wonderful. She's awesome. And a lot of the quilts, um, Lori Holt quilt kits that you can no longer find um, at Fat Quarter Shop or anywhere, you can get them from her. Um, she does have a very big selection um, and the next one is my happy place quilt kit by Lori Holt just I really like Lori Holt all the vintage stuff I'll show you quickly these fabrics um, the chicken salad is the cookbook collection this is who knows? No. Um, but all the fabric. Maybe someone else who knows the quilt um, fabric lines for these. The next one is Farmhouse Star Quilt Kit by Lori Holt. I think this one is so cute. Especially like fall time or um, 4th of July or something. Put this out because it's stars. We got stars in the flag. And then it did come with the pattern. Or I might have ordered the pattern separate. Probably ordered it separate. But this is the pattern. It tells you on the back what all you need. And this one's going to be 78 by 78. And. It's a lot of fabric. And I have the So Simple Shapes for this one also. Just haven't put them in here. Backgrounds over here too. Um, but I have to get the circle rollers to cut out the, the different shapes for like the circles that go on here. Um, I didn't bring in here the granny square. Not granny the um, Granny's Garden quilt kit. She didn't have that one in stock. Um, I actually pieced that one together myself. Um, finding this fabric here, this fabric here, in different places, because I really want that quilt. Um, so I do have that one kitted, but it's not in a nice box. It's just in a basket that I have. Um, but I have the circle rollers for that one, This is what I was getting at, um, but it's a different size than those. The next one is Flea Market Flower Quilt Kit. Or Flea Market Flowers, because there's more than one flower, Michael. And this one, you have to have um, Lori Holt's Pie Ruler, um, the Seeds Ruler, and I think the Circle Ruler again. But I don't have the pie or the seeds roller yet and these are all the fabrics. I think I have enough right now where I need to get some done before I keep buying more stuff. That's the background. Whole lot of this. Um and I say that as I've already ordered more Lori Hope quilt kits. Um it's like I'm never gonna keep up with all of her releases. because um, I started late 
So I've been trying to catch up. This is Prairie Meadows Quilt Kit. Um, this one, I think I do have the So Simple Shapes for this one. So I just need to finish the house one. And then I can start on one of these, which will probably be the chicken one. I like chickens. See, I do have the So Simple Shapes in here for this one. And this is Prairie Meadow So Simple Shapes. And this is all of the fabric for this one. And when she does these, she boxes them so neatly. Um, and they stack very neatly in the cabinet that they live in for now. And so I do that. And then I'll probably still save these boxes um, for like other quilt kits that I put together because right now a lot of them are in those Amazon project bags like I have on my cross stitch in. I just have the bigger ones for my quilt kits that are not Lori Hall. This is the Prim quilt kit. I don't know if I have these so simple shapes or not but we'll find out maybe they're in the box. Um, this one, nope, it's not in the box so who knows, I might somewhere. In my sewing area. Um, so all of these beautiful fabrics. This is the Prim collection. I do know that. And I think it's the Prim collection. And then backgrounds. Maybe Prairie now though is the Prairie collection. I don't know. It's too much for my brain. I do write everything down, so I could have brought my list in here and it would have told me what all I have bought and what I haven't, because I try to keep track so I don't overbuy extra stuff. So this is Vintage Housewife Kit, um, just like the cross stitch that I'm working on, but the cross stitch, the border is just red and white and pink all the way around. The quilt, they're all like different fabrics, which... Thank goodness you didn't do that on the cross stitch because that would have went crazy. I'm trying to change thread colors constantly. So that's this one. See. Nope. No, so simple shape. There's more fabric. Um, I don't remember the fabric line for this one either. I'm not going to open it because I don't want it to get dusty and stuff before I get to it. The next one is, um, what is it, Tall Pines or Plaid, plaid Pines. Um, but the lady who owns Moose Have Crafts turned it into Cozy Christmas Pines. And she used a cozy Christmas fabric to make it Christmas theme. Um, I don't know if she still has these. But you can go to her website and go to kits. And it's like a whole list of kits. And she's always updating. And if she doesn't have it um, in stock, you can always message her on Facebook. And sometimes uh, she's going to get some more in sometimes. And then other times, maybe not. But this is the background. And then this is another fabric um, for the border. And she does label them. Like, see, a little binding. It's a candy stripe. Um, and then all of these are going to be the trees and stuff. And as in this trunk for the tree. Um, I do have the pattern for this because I intend on doing... Um, Plaid Pines also to be a fall quilt, but I just have it because it's B plaids, so it's going to be a basic because it has B in front of it, B E E. So I feel like there's, I'm not dying to get to it because it's a basic, so I can buy it at some point. Besides the Farmhouse Star, I wanted that one really bad because I like it. The next one is Cozy Christmas Quilt Kit. Um, this one's a very old one, um, but she still has it on her website. 
Moose has press. And love this one. I do not have a so simple shape for this one. I know that for sure. Um, but here are the fabrics, the larger pieces. And here are all the fun Christmas fabrics. And like look. Christmas trees and little gingerbread man and stuff. It's gonna be so adorable to put out at Christmas time. It's my favorite holiday since my birthday is five days before Christmas. Um, so, while I fight the box, this is all of the quilt kits and quilt tops and finished quilts that I have to show you. Um, I will have another floss tube episode later on this month. Um, just trying to wait to get stuff in the mail um, that I ordered um, and make some progress on some stuff. But I did have a finish on one of my cross stitch that I showed you in the last episode. So just tune in for the next floss tube video because this isn't a floss tube, but the next floss tube. And I will show you um, at least that one finish that I have so far. I might have another one. I don't know. Depends on how much stitching time I get. But thank y'all for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I do love commenting back to y'all. Because I'm at home alone most of the time. I don't have anyone to talk to. So, but thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day. And take care.